Shalom. Welcome back to the Torture. All right. You know, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm fighting an up, uphill battle when it comes to the other code searchers. You know, I want to point something out. <clears throat> Half truthers cannot use other text like Gone with the Wind, uh, Moby Dick, the other control texts that are used. And then, like I said, there's 135 texts tested for codes. The Tanakh, the Bible, is the only book, it's the only book, with codes. So, they have to use the codes the Bible code to discredit. And what do they do? You have those that come in. Imagine a farmer sowing a field. He's sowing wheat. He's throwing wheat down. And then someone comes in behind him and throws down crabgrass or tares into the field. Same kind of thing happens. I've seen it. And you always reveal that to me. And that's what I'm against. That's what I'm up against. Uh, <laughs> so, hang in here with me, folks, because this, this is important. You know, when I'm, when I'm looking at things like this, this table here, it's a very significant, very significant, very condensed area on a cylinder that we're looking at. Had a skip width of 1044. See down here, 10 kings and the 44th president. Just say it. Just say it. Numbers mean something. This is atomic holocaust. Atomic holocaust appears one time. In the codes. It appears in the Torah. This is the Torah we're looking at. Here. And then there's a, a stacked anomaly to boot in this. <sighs> you know, if somebody was doing taking my tables last year named Renee Moses has a channel and I just saw where she was using tables and making predictions and and, and that one video had more views than my channel has since it's been up and that's kind of annoying uh, I've been feeling like my channel has been sandbagged from the beginning like videos that should have, I don't know, maybe went viral. Nothing. Um, I don't know. I don't mean to rant, but it, it's, it's late. It's 2 12 p.m. <laughs> and, um, looking at this. Now, taking into consideration the attack that just come on, on me from out of nowhere, it's out of a left field. Happens. And Paul Begley attacked at the same time. And then I hear Paul Begley sick. Um, there's a spiritual war going on, if you didn't know. Now, when you're doing this kind of thing, and I have nothing against people searching the codes, by all means. But if you're just now learning how to search the codes, and it's an exciting thing. It's very exciting. Especially when you are in the spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh is on you and revealing things to you. It, I mean, you just, 
there are times, and you've seen in my videos, I've explained it, there are times where I just wanted to jump up and run and scream and shout just with exuberance. So I know uh, the, the feeling behind it. But to, to just, I don't know, on a whim, get a close program and start putting out YouTube videos is very detrimental and harmful. Not only to yourself, but to other people. So please don't do something like that. Because you bring on yourself spiritual things. When you do, when you are dealing with the spiritual, and that's what this is. This is supernatural. This is Chodesh book. It's a holy book. The creator of the universe spoke these letters. That's why we have these um, anomalies that happen, a phenomenon, is because the creator of the universe spoke these words. This. And then, through his Holy Spirit, the Ruach, inspired men to write down words that had secrets of the universe in it. That's the type of Elohim we're talking about. And he loved you so much that he gave you a book that is for you. It wasn't for the angels of heaven. For you. It's a love story. It's a story of hope. He gives it to you, but he hides things in it from the enemy, not from you, from the enemy. Because he was going to reveal things the testimony of Yeshua is a spirit of prophecy. The testimony of his word is evident. The divine hand is evident and by what he reveals in his word, coded. Now, that's why you bring on spiritual. And then when I went to Dallas after I did Prophecy Club, and what was exposed on that DVD that we made, the attack was understandable. So, be warned if you're doing that. Sorry about the rant. We're already seven, eight minutes into it. So here we go. Atomic Holocaust is a term. 1044 is a skip. Uh, and Obama's name. Is it here? Interesting. Interesting. Patterns here. Very small skip in reverse and going the other direction here. There's also vertical over in this corner, but there's an extension to his name that I just found in the last hour that I've been looking at this, and that is Obama empties the oil. And it's you got Olam sitting on top. That's world. Wow. Okay, Israel running through the olive in, in Obama's name. Um, also, you know, this is really cool. I don't know, cool, but something I just picked up. I'm, I'm a guy of patterns. I notice patterns. Countries like here we got Korea, North Korea. Crossing over children of Israel or Israel with the rest and the rest. Same thing happening here with America. Crossing over children of Israel right there with the rest. What it means, I don't know. First thought I had when I saw America crossing with the rest was dividing the land. Uh, notice in here, they're sitting right on top. Let's just talk, talk about this. Hamashephatim. Hamashephatim. Judgments. Now that's here a few times. You got judgments here, judgment over here, judgment. Four so far that I've counted. We're sitting right on top of children of Israel with America crossing and NATO. NATO in this. And every country that I've looked for is relevant. Uh, to something of uh, uh, this scale, like an atomic 
holocausts are there. Russia, here in the red, one line. The United States, same line in the blue layers. Uh, sitting on top of where you know, got war here, three times in the plane test. One, two, three, and also at a skip of seven, sitting in that line right there. And that is on top, on top of that, is the United States, Russia, and then in here with the yellow, we got China. In the green, we have Iran. In the white, that is global. That's worldwide. It's also here, worldwide. Um, submarines are in here. I found submarines like this. This is really interesting because there's Zophon, or hidden is the word, but also Zolot, which is submarine. Zolot. I think that's how you pronounce it. But that submarine is also here in the purple, connecting to the Pesach or the Passover. So that's a day to pay attention to. We've got Islam here a few times. Islam there with the Nephilim, the fallen. It's here as well. Islam. How about that? Look at this. I just realized this. The Olive in Iran. Here. Is the Olive in Islam. Right there. I never noticed that. Covenant of Peace. You see the Mem in Islam? Covenant of Peace. Right there. Um, Savat Amin. Savat Amin, seven days. Yoshua. Is right there in the name of the Messiah. Right in the plain text. Cursed. It's here a couple of times. It's cursed. Uh, there's another version of it here with America. And uh, we have Babylon written backwards with Meshephet, Judgment, and Vatican right here. And I had that verse highlighted with the Vatican because it's relevant. And Islam in the United States. And from within crosses down this way. Oh, and I forgot to point out the prices. When I say Obama empties the oil, well, prices should drop. Probably going to be, I don't know if it has something to do with the, the what th this is, I would think, Zechariah 5, when the um, warfare happened, when, when the Holocaust happened. That's clearly, has not happened yet, and will. What, what, he's given a description of Megillas, or um, what is interpreted to be, ICBMs or Tomahawk missiles that fly across the face of the earth. Uh, that is yet to happen. Uh, China. Again, here's China. Here's China here. And uh, Yom Yahuwah is here. The day of Yahuwah. Right there in the white. Obama. And I did see 666 here. Those three bombs. Awesome. Cool. So, let's see what the verses are here. Starting with this one. Right there, with the end of days in yellow. It's the end of days. Zachret Yamin. And that is uh, the Midbar, 24th, chapter 14th verse is where we are. And this is time specific. He is giving a prophecy or telling Balaam in this case, what is going to happen in the end of days? And, uh, of course, this is the story of Balak and Balaam. And Balak is trying to convince Balaam to curse Jacob, to curse Israel. And, uh, well, let's just go in it from there. Um, 14th? Let's just, yeah. And now, behold, I go unto my people, Come, therefore, and I will advertise to thee what this people 
shall do to thy people in the latter days. And of course we're talking about Amalek, which is the everlasting enemy of Israel and um, El Elyon, the Most High God. Uh, excuse me, the Most High Elohim. That got that last video in my head, so uh, if overlook that. But that is what is what he's talking about here, and he and uh, also mention of I believe the Messiah here when it talks about it, and I shall see him. Oh wait, let me just back up. Skipping fourteen. And behold, excuse me, and behold, I go into my people, come therefore, and I will advertise to thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. He took up a parable and said to Balaam, the son of Beor, and he said, And the man whose eyes are open hath said, he had said, which heard the words of Elohim and knew the knowledge of El El Yom, which saw the vision of the most almighty falling into a trance. But having his eyes open, having his eyes open, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not high. There shall come a star out of Jacob. A scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Shia. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. And he out of Jacob shall come, he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth in the cities. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this peril, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Amalek is a strong, I mean, it is absolutely Islam. There is no, no other Amalek. He is it, part of Islam. So that is the enemy happening here. Um, that is what we're dealing with currently in the world. The cancer that is Islam. And I don't mean disrespect um, in any way. That is exactly what it is. Those people who are following that particular prophet are severely deceived. It is part of the beast. And uh, that is very unfortunate because it's one of the fastest growing and largest religions, beliefs, uh, false religion, religion of the three main ones. Um, but it is also, I believe, the sword of Yahuwah that he is using to judge the world. Um, and then what other religion currently in modern times beheads people. Christians did it in the mid uh, uh, the dark ages. <laughs> uh, I can't see the Catholic Church doing that currently in this time, but the beast that she rides, the ten kings, the ten will the cal uh, cal I should have looked at the callop that was in here and I will so <clears throat> what was the other verse where are the Vatican is and I'm not picking on the Catholics there are good people in that church too that is deceit it is also a vessel of the Almighty in the end times is the whore. 424, oh, excuse me, yeah, 424. All right. Please, listen. Take heed unto yourself, lest ye forget the covenant of the Elohim, which made which he made with you, and make you a graven image or the likeness of any anything which 
he, Adonai, uh, thy Elohim, hath forgid, forbidden thee. For the Adonai, thy Elohim, is a consuming fire. Yes, a jealous Elohim. He's jealous. It was one of his commandments. Now you shall have no other Elohim before me. No idols. And that's what we have here. Idol worship. Idol worship. But now begat children and children's children, ye shall have remained long in the land, yea, and shall corrupt yourselves, and even make a graven image or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of Adonai the Elohim, to provoke him to anger. And the rest of this table is found in um, the Torah. So it's it really odd that it's not found in the, the prophets I would have expected to be there but the that it's here should tell us keep the commandments keep his law to keep his law keep it within the the bounds of, of Kodesh of holiness you wouldn't have the, the, the mess that we have now. But here we are. Um, there are several years here. At least five. I didn't show them because I don't want people to take it and run with it and say, oh, the host searcher said uh, this is going to happen. This will eventually happen. The years that are here it could mean anything. You know, it's the times that we're in. That's what it means. Uh, to pinpoint it, and it, and it could pass over the day mentioned here with a submarine connected to it, and Zophan hidden with a submarine. Hmm. That, well, I would think, could mean something. Could be wrong. But there you go. I believe a very relevant... Very relevant. Table. I've been feeling this in the spirit for, for several days when I've been looking at this. And then the attacks that come. Explains a lot. I'm on to something. When, ha when something like that happens, I know I want something very relevant. So there you go. Um, listen, if you want to get a hold of a book, that is a really deep, let me just so you can see that good, Bible Code Bombshell. You can find that at Amazon. It's not that much paperback. It's a very good book. It explains a lot. I recommend that over Michael Drazen. <clears throat> uh, what else? Um... Seems like I wanted to share something else with you, but nothing's coming at the moment. Uh, so there you go, folks. And tell me what it costs. When? Any day. That's for sure. Where well, it's not looking good in the world. Um, I would expect something like this to trigger martial law or some other kind of catastrophe. It is going to happen. That is what powers that be, these that are puppeteered by the powers in the air, want order out of chaos. They want a new world order. Uh, so, heads up. Here it is in the codes. Shalom. See you in the next video, guys.